Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Lars Sorensen, and this is a rather simple episode of Simple Python, where we are going to look at Idle, which is a development environment for the Python programming language, and it helps you to create Python programs and to use Python in an easy way. Let's fire it up, and as you can see, the window opens up. I'm assuming that you installed Python on your machine and that when you did so, you chose the option that let idle come along for the ride. As you can see, I'm using Windows, um, which is sometimes good, sometimes not. But it should run the same on most platforms, Mac and Linux as well. Uh, you can see when we fire up idle, we get menus, and we're not going to use a lot of this today. This is all going to come into play when we start writing programs, but today we're basically going to use idle in interactive mode, which means that we will type in a Python command, and then we'll hit enter, and right then and there we're going to see that expression evaluated, and we can see what Python does. So the first thing we're going to look at, very simply, is the print function, and because we're programmers, we are going to start by having the screen say hello world. You can see the words I wanted printed were put in quotes and also covered by parentheses. Some programming languages use a semicolon at the end of a statement, but we're not going to do that. We're, with Python, you don't need a semicolon, so you just hit enter and boom, you get hello world. Now you can basically do that with any old word or phrase. Boom, and you're going to get the same results. Now, we can also do things with numbers and not just words. So if I were to do just print 3, I get a 3, and I can have Python evaluate statements for me. So I can go print 4 plus 6, and Python will tell me 10, which is nifty. So I can have that statement evaluated. We will talk about expressions later in another video, but for now we're just going to show that if something isn't in quotes, Python looks at it and evaluates it for us, so that's a pretty neat feature. Um, you can use all the other arithmetic uh, operations. You can use minus and multiplication and division, and you'll see a lot of that down the line. Now, one thing we can do, which is nifty, is we can mix and match. We can say the answer is comma and then a number. And you can see it prints the answer is 7. We can also, in the very same line, have Python. Maybe I should learn how to type. Do the evaluation for us. Oh, don't want to do that. So you can see the 3 plus 4 isn't in quotes. When I hit enter, boom, I get the same thing. So that comes in handy as well. So you can mix and match <clears throat> with the print function as well. Uh, you might be saying to yourself, hmm, what good is this? We're in interactive mode, and I could just type these things to the screen. Why do I need Python to do it for me? And you know what? You'd be right. Print statement isn't very extremely useful in interactive mode. It, it does get useful sometimes, but for right now, I'm just getting you used to the basics because later when we write programs, the print statement becomes more important because sometimes you want to do work inside of a program that isn't shown, and then later at the end you want to print the answer, and you'll print the answer to the screen. So that's that's the basics. That's this, the simple beginnings of the print statement. Uh, we're going to move on to expressions and variables in the next few videos. Um, first, I'm just going to give you a nifty little idle trick. If you have a command line up there and you just impact, if you type in import this and hit enter, you get the Xanapython by Tim Peters, which is a group of nifty little statements about Python and what makes it good and some of the things that make it um, different than other programming languages that we can use. So that's it. That's the very basics. That's the very beginning. Um, the next video is going to be expressions, and we'll look at how we can evaluate expressions with Python in interactive mode. Um, if you're done with your session and you don't want to use it anymore, I know on Windows we just have to hit Control-D and boom, everything goes away.
So that's it for now. Uh, everybody be good, and we'll see you in the next video.